Hey everybody, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I know I am. Before we get into this video, y'all already know the drill. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Turn on that post notification bell right next to it. Thumbs up this video. Don't forget to be active in those comments and share, share, share my videos with your family, friends, haters, innovators, and all of those people, okay? So on the chopping block, we have Miss Keisha Chavez. And I know some of y'all are like, bitch, who the f is Keisha? Well, Keisha is former, or shall I say, coming out of retirement porn star and also the wife of ex-NBA player and Golden State Warrior. So according to Keisha, she done had this OnlyFans account for the past year now. And he's just now recently. When I say recently, I think this video dropped like a week ago. He just now finding out about it. I know what y'all are thinking. I know some of y'all are probably like, well, OnlyFans is not just for adult content. Basically, there's a plethora of different types of content on there. So I know it's not just for people that just want to go pop their on there. I know that. But Miss Keisha is on here popping her. And she feels as though since she's not interacting with nobody, that it's okay for her to do that. And it's like, no ma'am. And it was just so much disrespect in this whole ordeal anyway. Let's go ahead and get into the video, y'all. stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, yo, the disrespect that comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me before you did it. That's bullshit, yo. That's fucked up, Keith. I'm telling you, yo, that's fucked up. Wait. Wait, no, 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 calm, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not what fucked up. Recording me? What the fuck you doing? <sighs> Listen. And that was the part that got me when I first seen this whole video was the fact that, first of all, are you even recording y'all getting into it over this? Why is it even out there? Why do we even know this? That was my first thought. Why do we know this? And yes, it is fucked up that you have an OnlyFans account knowing the type of content that you're going to put out there. When you're married, there are lines and boundaries that you just do not cross. And it's just disrespectful that she done did this shit and she put the shit out there. It's not fucked up. And we're going to... Up. Okay, look, so... I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course I'm mad if you just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself, so why should I have to tell it. you my it choice, my body, my body, body, my body, my fucking choice? Party, you're what you're not finna do, Miss Keisha? You're not gonna treat this like this is Roe v. Wade. Damn, this is completely different from that. Like I said, when you're in a marriage, there are lines and boundaries that you just do not cross. Joe, I've that. been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Before. Before, before yeah. Before, met, yeah, I and knew I that. thought that I would never have to go Man, back to anything like that. I knew that beforehand, but, but not y'all. No, no, no. If I heard her say that, I feel like that was even disrespectful even more. It's like she keeps drilling the hole. You can't say shit like that. Yeah, you might have been a porn star when he first met you, but it's different now. Y'all are married. This whole shit is disrespectful. But after, right that, after that, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. Obviously, Everything. it hasn't. No, it had to. I had Obviously, to do something. Hasn't. You stood out there showing your body. You stood out there doing stuff like this on camera. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the fuck? Come on, Keisha. It don't matter what they break you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? You Keisha, what do you mean? What disrespect? The disrespect that you're still holding this fucking device up recording this. For one... The disrespect that you came up with a plan, knowing the type of content that you were going to put out there to the world, 
and you're married. The whole thing is that you're married. Come and talk to me about it. Okay, well, we're talking about it now. Because I had so. to find out on the fly. All right, then, but now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. So now you know. Yeah, now I know. Okay. That's crazy. And so? She don't give a fuck. She don't give a fuck. And then she turns around and does this fucking interview. You got, how are you Where, guys doing? Where's Joe? Um, he You see she done took that damn wig off. Because she knows she was wrong. For them edges that she created on that damn wig. He's pretty pissed off with me. So he's been, um, I think he's at his sister's house. He's not talking to me right now. So. That right there pissed me off when I seen this. Why do we have to know that he's at his sister's house? She talked too much. Yeah. Keisha, how long ago, obviously, we saw in the video that Joe's saying he had no idea that you had this account. How long, how long is the account, have you had the page? Um, I've had the page for at least over a year. Um, it's on my Instagram. In my LinkedIn, but year. that's what happens when you don't pay attention to your wife, period. Um, and, you know, he has a friend that he's been entertaining and she decided that, you know, she wants to really put a wrench, a bigger, you know, wedge in our relationship. So she went digging around my page and was like, oh, do you know that she has this? And it blew up from that. I mean, it's no secret Joe's financial issues. You know, mm -hmm. and I she have. She's being shady. She's being shady. This whole thing just pissed me off. It just really pissed me off. It was like, girl, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I feel like she is doing this to try to even draw more attention to her OnlyFans account. And it's like, how long do you think this is going to last? We don't. Why do we know this? Why do we know this? That's my biggest question. Why do we know this? I've always made a good life for myself, you know? Um, before I met Joe, I was living overseas in Europe, and I had established myself as a singer, you know? And I came back here, you know, thinking that with his persona and who he was, once we got together and I found out who he was, that it would only take off you know, other things, but, you know, not everybody's hustle and drive are the same. And depression is a serious thing also. So, you know, I've been just like, you know, supporting and dealing and going through his trials and tribulations with him. Um, I've started several businesses, you know, I've, I've been doing a lot, like, and I just was, I just figured out, like, figure out, I have a home in Cape Verde I'm trying not to lose and a, and a roof over here we're trying to maintain that we almost got kicked out of. So I just kicked in the drop. That's too much. She's giving us way too much. This is so ugly. She's not making him look bad. She's making herself look so bad. And regardless if he was entertaining somebody or whatever the case may be, but for it to be all out here like that, and she's putting it out here in a tasteless way. I did what I had to do, you know, and he won't do it, so I had to. And I'm sorry, you knew I was an adult video star when you met me. So if my survival, if I would do anything for my own survival then, what makes you think that would change now? When I retired from the adult industry, I promised myself if I don't sing, I don't eat. So when, you know, my music, the career wasn't popping here when I left Germany and I stayed here for him. I figured, you know, I would, you know, start a business. I started a puppy friend social club business, the dog sitting business. And then COVID happened and that screwed everything up. I have a, a moving company, you know, that he actually works for me. Like he works for my moving company, you know. That's he working. You're trying to maintain a lifestyle that y'all can no longer maintain. I'm tired of being the one to figure shit out. So I figured it out the best way I know that can maximize the money that needs to come in because I'm tired of living like, you know, I'm tired of living yeah. minimal, you know? It's not, it's not fair. 
and I don't understand how you could have had such a maximized life and be so content. You out here complaining about living minimal when you got people out here that's living worse than that? Get the f off these folks camera and stop playing with us. This is ridiculous. But we've been together for almost 13 years though. We've been together since 2012, like after his retirement. And it really wasn't a retirement that he wanted. It was a forced retirement because he just got locked out after the lockout in the 2011 lockout, you guys remember. Right. You know, he just never got a new job. Nobody wanted him anymore. So, you know, there was the a shade, depression. And I've been like, the shade, this is tasteless. This is so tasteless. This does not make you look at her any and don't make her look good at all. I'm, you know, dealing with all of this stuff, and I'm sorry, you know, uh, that I, I'm not sorry for what I'm doing. I'm just sorry that he can't understand that it's not, that wasn't a selfish um, decision. It was a decision that I made. I made an executive decision when my man wasn't taking the lead. I really love Joe. Um, I just, I love him. Um, yeah, if we were, like, if he yeah, never speaks to me again, I still will do things to help him or whatever I can because he's my family. You know, he's like an intricate part of my life and I just want the best for Girl, us. Girl, get off and I wish camera. he wanted that also. That's really where I'm at. You know, I wish that he wanted the best Girl, for us. Because get off our camera. Get, she making me mad. This is tasteless. I don't like it. They need to figure it out. Girl, bye. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll see y'all in the next one.